Co concentrate. Okay, sorry, we're cooking. We're cooking I'm with sorry. Kenor a stock. Distra they're distraction. Well, they're very distracting okay. young men. There's no question about it. <laughs> Listen, here's the little package of the stock, which I like because you can add the liquid you want. Yes. You're not stuck with a big box of water yeah. flavored business. Yeah. This is the real McCoy here. And you can add the kind of water you want. So in this case, we're just adding normal water. The last recipe we're we made. We're adding Ottawa normal water. <laughs> Ottawa normal That's the water. Kind. Excellent. And so you're going to throw that in and you're just going to let it melt the up. The Kenora? Yeah, yeah. You're just going to let it melt up. Eventually and it slides out. Yeah, you gotta you gotta actually take your little spoon and <laughs> scoop her out. Sometimes I use a knife. To there we go. Look, easy. see. There you go. Once you get it going, and it just starts melting. Give it a stir. Yep. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes. Again, every recipe should be very easy to change up the ingredients. Yeah. So if your kids do not like sun-dried tomatoes, yeah. guess what? You Don't put in broccoli them. or what they like, right? And and the recipe ends up. <laughs> I that's, like, that's I like your reasoning. If they don't like sun-dried tomatoes, there's a good chance they're going to like broccoli. No, no, no. Some, <laughs> it's all about texture. Oh, okay. come on. Some people, actually, the number one vegetable kids like is broccoli. Believe is it, it or not, that is true. Do your kids like broccoli? Love it. Absolutely love it. And most kids do because it has less chlorophyll, so it's milder on the system, and they like the texture of it really? often. Yep. Cream cheese. We're gonna put some light cream cheese in here. Yeah. And so that's gonna keep it light, but it's gonna keep it nice and creamy. Yeah. So we're gonna get that in there, and that's gonna melt up with everything else, and then we're gonna pour this our looks water delicious. in. And we're gonna use spinach. We're gonna we're gonna wilt spinach in here, and then we're gonna mix it up with this big, you know, uh, we pre-cooked some pasta. Some pasta, this is just right. some penne pasta. So the so. spinach you don't leave in for very long, right? You don't leave it like, in for very long. Like is that the last second? Now what you're gonna do, yeah. So you're melting all this up. All the cheese is gonna melt up. Now this is one of the oh God, recipes again good. in the what's for dinner. And here's, I, I want to say, this is one thing that I love about the What's for Dinner, and, and folks are going to find this all year, yeah. is that they're going to go in and they're going to be able to say, hey, here's what I did. My kids don't like the texture of sun-dried right. tomatoes. Oh, is that right? So they can kind of... So so what I did... Be involved in the process? Yeah, so what I did is I added... Uh, I, I just want to let you know, I added mushrooms and peas to mine, and we call it this. Huh. And there's going to be able to be a community... Um, where they can literally go and land and see what other people are doing. That's but nice. Get other simple, ideas, right? But it's all simple stuff. So this is all connected to the survey and the things we were talking about yes. earlier where people, and I've done it, I do it, we do it all the time, you know, we go to the grocery store and really not clear on what we're getting and why. Ex well, and, right? and, and is that not common? Oh my God, everybody does that, I think. That is absolutely common. We're going to yeah. turn that up here. How do you do that on That's, this one? Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, okay. Tried that. It didn't work. Didn't work. There you go. There we look you. super oh, different. That's why it's not melting. Okay. This was not up. But so, yeah, yeah, so people often, we were talking about this earlier, go to the grocery store and really confused, and then the night before or even the morning of, uh, you got to cook dinner that night, and you're like, oh my God, what are we going to have? And you yes. don't know what to do. So when 85% of North Americans, you have to think of it this way, we've known this since 1985. 85% of North Americans don't know what they're having for dinner for right. until dinner. Well, what the Kenor survey brought out, was, which may, to me was fascinating, was that 55%, so over half of those people land then also at a, so out of the 85%, 55% are landing at a grocery store, meandering around, and very confused, because here's why. They get there, they're frustrated, they don't have time in the first place to do dinner, they're already stressed out about dinner, and then they get to the grocery store, and they're saying, well, maybe I should pick up bananas, because I don't know if I have those, and maybe I should get this, and they really can't figure the whole Plus, thing out. Plus, you know what, out. you end up wasting money that way, right? You buy things you never use, or whatever, and you know, things go bad in the fridge. We've done it, we do it all the time, and then we're like, oh. Absolutely. Yeah. And so we have to stop that whole process before it even starts. Listen, we got to run, but I want, where do we get all this, uh, we're going to finish this off too, where do we get all this information like the recipes and the survey results and all that sort of thing? Yes. So go to canor.ca. Yes. You're going to see my face on there a lot this year. Well, sorry, which is sorry beautiful. about that. You know, yeah, yeah, you have a beautiful oh, face. You, you know, you, you butter me up. And uh, so canor.ca, and you also want to look at the What's for Dinner program. Right. I'm going to be working with them this year. We are going to get pe pe people a very safe place to land you, to be able to pull off easy dinners. 851. That's good Good news for people. I mean, how simple is this? I can do it. Believe me, people know out there. They know. I'm no chef, but hey. <laughs>
When pressed, hey Sandy, That's when pressed. It's all gonna cream up, it's yeah, all gonna melt. Add that, mix it with pasta, bake it, yum. That's weird. Serve it with a salad. We'll, we'll make it up, we'll give it to the comedians. Give it to the comedians? Well, they need a home cooked meal. They've been on the road for it. <laughs> Sandy Richard, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Good to see you, my darling. Thank you.